Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, September 4th, 2018. Just going to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks has a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here. I hope you had a great long weekend, and here we are in the month of September. Wow, the summer went by so quickly. Anyway, with that, let's get into today's video. If you know me, you know I always start my videos off with a look at the Russell Index. I use the Russell as my simple proxy for the markets overall. As long as the Russell's moving higher, I'm adding new names to my watch list, but if the Russell's moving lower, I'm getting cautious and defensive. And so we have our candle for the month of August complete. We are looking at the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And I like to step back and take a look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. So we are looking at the monthly candles. The lines here are short-term support resistance is pink, medium is orange, and long-term is blue. Really ignoring these for now and focusing in on this area here. So I am filming this at about 8 a.m. on Tuesday morning. The markets are not open yet. This is the candle that completed our month of August. Bullish orientation, not a ton of volume, but a bullish candle nonetheless. So that's the monthly look. Let's take a look at it on the one year weekly. You know me at Chart of the Day Cafe, if you've been watching my videos, I'm all about price being up and over this blue line, which is the eight day EMA. EMA is exponential moving average. Um, so as long as price is moving up and over that blue line on the Russell, it's nice to see it up and over the blue on both the weekly and daily, but for me, it just has to be on the daily. But as you can see, we're looking at the one year weekly. It bounced off our area of short term support, the pink line, and drifted higher last week with price up and over that eight day. So that's the weekly look. Let's take a look at it on the daily. Here's the daily. Price up and over the blue. Friday ended up being a bullish day. Looks as though the futures are going to start um, in the red this morning. So we'll see. It's anyone guess as to which way this market wants to go. I will say that volatility looks perky to me when I look at that chart. And um, the dollar in that, the UUP, which is a chart I refer to quite a bit, uh, looks as though it's going to have a strong start and that might be a little bit disruptive to the markets overall so I don't make comments on economy and that sort of thing I just watch what price does it's not my place to do that all I'm saying is uh, you want to be really careful in this area if it starts to drift lower it could be um, it could be something worth keeping an eye on for sure so it's all about how price behaves today and then the days ahead but with uh, price up and over that blue line we will be um, reviewing an old chart of the day cafe pick and the chart that I wanted to feature for you this morning is ABBV Inc ticker symbol ABBV trades on the New York Stock Exchange this is a healthcare company specifically a drug manufacturer if you know me at Chart of the Day Cafe, I am all about the scores underneath my charts. The fundamentals are oh so important to me, specifically value and growth. And I can tell you that ABBV has a very nice high value score, along with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 21%, a current PE of 12.58, and a dividend yield of 4%. It's worth noting that ABBV is in my dividend growers basket, meaning that they have been growing their dividend faster than uh, the norm. So they're a dividend growing company. As well, they're in my marijuana basket. Uh, ABBV sells a Marinol, which is a synthetic replacement for THC, which is an active ingredient in marijuana. So they're a well-established pharmaceutical company also um, with interest in that growing marijuana sector. So that's all worth taking note of when you take a look at this chart. So with that, let's get back to the chart. Uh, we are looking at the five-year monthly. ABBV was my chart of the day cafe pick back here in April 2016. 
we're looking at the monthly, so five-year monthly, so uh, I forget which specific day, but it was right in this area here, green circle. It's had a nice run since then. I talked about it in January of this year. It hit a peak then and rolled back in to settle in the area that it's in right now. So overall, what I like about this chart, five-year monthly chart, look at how long it consolidated down here before lifting up and having this somewhat parabolic move higher. Uh, moves like that can sometimes need a rest and it looks like ABBV has come into rest in 2018 so far. But I can identify this as an area of support right here. Uh, we had a doji last month, and here is the candle for the month of August. So it's starting to lift up and through our blue 8-day EMA and look pretty interesting to me in this area. So I'm going to move it away from the 5-year monthly to the 1-year weekly. And I'm going to stick with this line as an area of support. Uh, it's drifted back in, so it had a nice lift off that area. It's drifted back in somewhat with two red candles in the prior two weeks. But now I'm going to move it away from the uh, weekly to the daily. But before I do, I just want you to see that price is up and over the blue on the weekly. And let's go take a look at the daily. So here's the three-month daily. Uh, you know me, I like to see price up and over that blue. So it is early yet for ABBV, but because I only do these videos a couple of times a week, I'm putting it on my list as one to watch should price recover on the overall markets and, uh, and things start to lift here. I think this is one to definitely keep an eye on in this area, especially given the sector and those scores and lovely dividend. That's a really nice high dividend. So ABBV, one to keep an eye on. Along with my new watch list pick, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in. And for that, we're looking at XLV, which is the ETF for the healthcare space. Five-year monthly chart. So these are monthly candles. As you can see, it is in an uptrend on the five-year chart and has showed particular strength in the last couple of months with these nice bullish candles here. So overall, the sector is in an uptrend. I also like to take a look at seasonality, and for that I go to equityclock.com, an excellent, excellent site. We're looking at the seasonal chart for ABBV, and as you can see, it comes into seasonal favor at this time of year. No guarantee that happens again this year, but always a good data point to know. The other thing I like to do is spin over to Finviz and see if I've got analyst support for my new watch list pick. So here we are on the uh, the Finviz page for ABBV. You can see that it's had a couple of downgrades, so you want to be aware of that. Um, there are some positive articles here though, so I'm going to let you decide on the analyst support part. Um, and I'm going to include this article from Zach's on their cancer pipeline, which is a, is a positive article. Might be worth taking a look at the others here too. Um, so that will be included. And so to quickly recap, I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index. We want to note that overall the Russell Index is in an uptrend with price currently up and over the 8-day EMA exponential moving average on both the weekly and daily chart and we looked at the 5-year. So check that box. We looked at the 5-year chart for ABBV. Uh, it's had a nice run higher. It came into that peak early in uh, January 2018 has settled in an area that may offer uh, price support. Emphasis on possible but it is in an area of price support and should the markets continue higher with the scores underneath this company I wouldn't be surprised to see ABB move higher from here as well so check that box. We looked at the five-year chart for the sector that it's in XLV and we note that it's in an uptrend as well. ABBV, I've got these highlighted because they're absolutely critical to me. It's got a fantastic value score along with a strong growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 21%. Current dividend yield of 4%, that's a nice high yield. Uh, as I mentioned, it's in my dividend growth basket, so they are a dividend growing company. The uh, dividend growth rate has increased 15%. This is not checked because it does not have that EMA daily cross, so it is early yet for this chart. 
um, but I had a viewer request me to do another review on ABBV, so I'm putting it forward early um, and we'll wait to see if it gets that check. It's got seasonality in its favor. We looked at the equity clock seasonal chart for ABBV. I'm going to let you decide whether you want to check this or not. Analyst support's a little choppy on Finviz. <clears throat> and it's worth noting as well, they announced a big stock buyback program in uh, February 16th of this year. And it was a significant buyback program. So that's always worth knowing as well. It's got a current PE of 12.58. And it looks as though their next earnings reporting date is October 26th. Thank you for watching today's video. And as a reminder, these videos go out twice a week, usually Tuesday and Thursday morning. With that, I will leave you. Have a great next couple of days and we'll see you Thursday.